in the rubbish dump itself, it wasn't that easy for us to live. Everyone has to fight to live in the dump site. It's like a survival of the fittest. Currently, it's more than 150 living in the dump site. Most of the people, they don't go around, like they don't go out of the cities. They live in the dump because everything that they need is just right there. So we just fetch our food, our clothing, everything right in the dump site. So every day we have to just try our best as much as possible to get whatever that we can. Lee Boy Tobias grew up on the notorious Varuni rubbish dump, selling what he had salvaged there on the street to make ends meet. Those uh, money that we get from the dump, my parents try their best to pay for my school fees. It's very tough when there is no power, no electricity at all, not even water. Neither do we have any good shelter. In our house, it's just, it's a mess. I fail a lot of time. Lee Boy dreamed of getting an education, but the odds were stacked against him. Most of the time, like, especially people living around the Port Mosby city, they think that the dump is the place where it's all those criminal activities and bad people live in the dump. But to tell the truth, those people living in the dump, they have something good in them, and God cares about them. And for me personally, I've been living with them, and they are the most caring people that I ever met in my entire life. Because I've been living with them, eating with them, sleeping with them, and they are not as bad as people think. Operation Food for Life volunteers got to know Lee Boy at the dump, and he gave his life to Christ and became a Seventh-day Adventist. I was in the Barony rubbish dump around the year 2004, five or six, around that time. And I've seen the Operation Food for Life ministry with the PAU bus coming into the dump site and feeding us. I don't believe in the Adventist. But as soon as one of the Seventh-day Adventist elder, his name is Elder David Jeninen, and some of his uh, the companions, when they visited us, they always tell us about the truth, the Adventist truth. We test in with us, like they are giving us Bible study, feeding us every Sabbath morning. When the elder, Elder David Jeninen, he said, he was asking us on a Sabbath, he said, in your life, what career do you want to be? Like, what is your aim? And I said, well, I want to become a Seventh-day Adventist pastor. That was back in 2004. And from there till now, God has honored my promise to become the Adventist minister. With the support of Operation Food for Life, Lee Boy fought through every educational challenge he faced to complete his ministerial training at Pacific Adventist University. God had honored his promise. Now, Lee Boy works in a remote area of the Central Papua Conference as a church minister. So I take all those bad things that happen in my life, the environment and all these factors, I take it as an opportunity to look forward and to aim for the best. And all things is possible through God. As in 1 Samuel 2 verses 8, it reads, God will rise up the poor from the dust and we lift up the beggar from the garbage dump. God will bring you wherever you are. Maybe your mess will become your message. Like me, my mess is my message now. And I'm sending it all around. Just to let people know that God will bring you from anywhere, everywhere you are, to something that God will use you mightily and powerfully in his ministry. Help. Adventist record continue to tell powerful stories like Lee Boy's about what God is doing in the South Pacific by supporting the May 2 Adventist record offering.